Very, very proud. I'm glad I came. I wasn't present when Andrew won the Four Star Grand Prix in Wellington. A good friend of mine said to me earlier this year, where were you that evening? And I said, oh, I was back in Ireland. And he said, that is a very foolish place to be. He said, you don't have days like this that many times in your life. So I took his advice. He made me a promise anytime I'm on a Nations Cup team, he's going to be there to support. We've won the last two, so it's a good start. So he's going to come to the next one as well. When he's on form, he's very hard to beat uh, Blue because he's very, very competitive and he really, really takes his job very seriously. It's an odd sort of a character because he's extremely calm and collected and relaxed until he's not. And then when he decides it's time to go, he's very, very aggressive. That little bit of bite, it's that aggressiveness that makes him very competitive. Our young horses live outside in Ireland they graze with the cattle and the sheep in, in big grass fields. Blue was always the leader of the pack. He decided where the horses were going to graze for that day, when they were going to the trough to have a drink of water, when they should go for a gallop. All the young horses had to canter behind Blue. He would jump out of his paddock quite regularly and break fences, but you know, he cleared the fences, but then we'd come back and smash them just to <laughs> make us suffer. But he always was an assertive horse. It's something I look for in young horses when I see them running in the field, you know, it tells how much steel there's going to be in their character for the future. He's an alpha. At a horse at this level, it's all about giving them confidence in themselves to come out and, and really do their job to the best of their ability. And I like to think that's what I do best. I think this is one of the best horses I've ever had.